Um, so you were just discussing uh, the chambers and how you believe fluid was in the shafts of the Queen's chamber and that it somehow or another created hydrogen with these chemicals. How is the microwave going through those chambers if it's blocked off from the outside? Is it pa penetrating through the stone? Well, um, it, it doesn't go into the Queen's chamber, so it, that's it, through the uh, King's chamber shafts, which are open. Okay, so the King's chamber shafts is what's collecting the microwaves. The Queen's chamber shafts have the, the yeah, so what you believe some chemicals in there. Right. And then what is happening with those chemicals? They're mixing and boiling off hydrogen. Can you the, show me the image again, please? Yeah. And so, uh, so here we have... So there's the chemicals that are in the the shafts. Um, you have the queen's chamber, which is collecting the hydrogen, and then what happens into the king's chamber? Well, oh, well, while that is going on, the the queen the king's chamber is uh, vibrating uh, in sympathy with the earth, um, and. It has, it becomes, it is actually a coupled oscillator with the Earth. How so? How does that work? Well, a coupled oscillator is a device that's attached to a larger vibrating device uh, and uh, is in sympathy. And with what is it. causing the King's Chamber to vibrate? The, uh, the passage of vibration through the pyramid. Of the Earth? Of the Earth, which is assisted, it's coupled by using what I call a Tesla device in the in the uh, subterranean chamber, because you've got you've got three, four, you've got several systems in there, right? So if you got the subterranean chamber, uh, you know, that that serves one function. You go up to the Queen's chamber, that serves another function. You go up to the King's chamber, that serves another function. And in between, you have the Grand Gallery, the Ascending Passage, you've got the Descending Passage, all of these things uh, are there for a reason. And so the subterranean chamber, how do you think that worked? I, I, I would speculate that, and actually if you... If you read uh, Tesla and, and some of his writings, he suggests that uh, with uh, a very little energy, you could uh, uh, you could build a, a device that imparts uh, energy or thrusts into a structure, and if it is in harmony or the exact frequency with that structure, it could bring the structure down just by an accumulation of, uh, of energy, of vibration. The amplitude would keep. And if you kept pounding it and pounding it and pounding it, eventually it would all come down. The, uh, I mean, that was, that's why they, uh, they instructed soldiers when they're on the march to break step, when they cross a bridge, mm. because their footsteps might uh, cause the bridge to oscillate Mm. And dis and destroy. It's a very destructive force. Is is the is this uh, this you know frequency or oscillating vibration. oscillating vibration? So something is happening in this subterranean chamber. Yep. And this something is causing the pyramid and the earth around it to vibrate. Mm -hmm. And how is that affecting the hydrogen? And how is that affecting what's what's happening in the king's chamber? Okay, so you have a combination of uh, you've got two different kinds of energy now flowing through the great pyramid. You've got okay. electromagnetic energy, and From you've the also got mechanical energy. Right. Right. Okay, so you've got the mechanical energy of this thing that's striking. Right. You have the passages that are filled with chemicals that's causing the accumulation of hydrogen. The hydrogen is making its way into the king's chamber. Right. And then what is the function of these passageways that go into the king's chamber from the outside? Well, the northern shaft carries a microwave signal. That signal uh, passes through a amplifier. And then the the, the the signal enters into the chamber uh, and collects the energy that has uh, been 
accumulating in, in that space. It's crazy that this makes sense. Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was trying to get. There's a bunch of slides in here that are really interesting, but we haven't got to them yet. Well, we got time. We'll get to those. <laughs> what it, said, yo, I don't know about me. I, you're I doing may, great. I may pass out. Have another cup of coffee. Open. Here's the northern shaft, but I don't know. Oh, that's the northern shaft. Southern okay. Shaft. So this, the way it's set up here, now, especially when you're looking at it from this, it really does kind of make sense that this is a passageway for gases and energy. Like mm. the way I'm looking, I mean, it looks like, if you're looking at it like this, it looks like, like a system. It's a, it's a machine. So this gives us an understanding of what it would look like originally. There was a gold cap on the top, smooth limestone on the sides. What do you think the function of that gold cap was? Because gold is used in electricity, it's go in electronic components. It's a right. great conductor of electricity. Well, this is where uh, you combine the uh, uh, Tesla's technology and his uh, proposal to uh, build a, uh, a system that where you can transmit electricity. Uh, wirelessly, without wires, through the air, through the earth, uh, and he built the Wardenclyffe Tower, which was like a, you know, a structure that uh, would radiate mm -hmm. that power. Uh, so it, the idea would be that this whole thing would be emitting wireless electricity. Yes. And so that they would be able to utilize that somehow, like Tesla had theorized. Tesla. They yeah, actually Tesla. implemented it right in tests, right? Yeah, Te I mean Tesla power, Tesla, Tesla cars too. Look at this! Whoa! Boom. Look how they're sliding all over the place. I mean that is fucking ice. Yeah. That guy can't stop his car. Look, look, he's just gonna slide in that car behind him. This is oh ridiculous. Is that he can't stop it? Oh shit! Boom! And, and that car's going. sliding. They're all sliding. The whole thing is ice.